Stereo playback has been around for over 100 years, but the principles behind the technology really haven't changed all that much in so much time. Two separate audio signals are pumped through two separate speakers, and when they're combined, they create a coherent soundstage. It's a simple illusion, but it allows for a much more vivid reproduction of music as the listener can localize specific elements within the track. As simple as the illusion is, though, it really only works if your speakers are set up properly. If you've researched room setup before, then you're probably already aware of the equilateral triangle setup. Setting up your speakers so that the distance between your listening position and each speaker is the same as the distance between the speakers forms a symmetrical layout that ensures that the sound from each speaker reaches the listening position in sync. Push one speaker closer than the other, and one channel arrives at your ear slightly sooner than the other. Symmetry isn't just important for the measurements between the speakers and the listening position, but their placement within the room should also be symmetrical so that the reflected sound from the surrounding surfaces also reaches the listener in sync. So your speaker placement is going to be based off of your listening position, which is going to be based off of the size and shape of your room. Ideally, you want your listening position on one of the room's thirds so you can avoid the null in the center of the room. It's almost always a better idea to have your listening position face the shorter wall. With the speakers aimed down the length of the room, bass frequencies have more time to develop and have less energy by the time they strike the rear wall, which will make treating your bass issues a lot easier. Based on these principles, the starting layout is always the same. An equilateral triangle formed between the listening position and the speakers center along the length of the room. You'll also want to make sure that the speakers are seated at ear level with the listening position. Generally, halfway between the woofer and the tweeter is the acoustic axis of the speaker. It's also a better idea to have the speakers on dedicated stands than on your desk or other furniture that they might reverb through. From here we can adjust the speakers to fine tune our soundstage. Towing the speakers in can reduce the amount of reflections off the sidewall and help make the center channel clearer. Bringing the speakers closer together will reduce stereo elements for a more homogeneous sound, while pulling them further apart will make stereo elements more distinct. Finding the ideal layout for your soundstage requires experimenting with your speaker placement, but as you move your speakers around, the reflections from your front wall, side wall, and floor can cause acoustic issues known as Speaker Boundary Interference Response, or SBIR. The trick to speaker placement is finding the ideal balance between crafting a great soundstage and minimizing the unwanted effects of SBIR. Treating around your speakers with thick bass traps can help minimize SBIR, leaving you with more room to focus on your soundstage. If you're using a subwoofer and both your subwoofer and speakers have an adjustable crossover frequency, then you can cross over from your front speakers to your subwoofer at a higher frequency and avoid some of the SBIR issues from your front speakers. Where you place your subwoofer is obviously going to have a substantial effect on your bass response. Placing the subwoofer in the corner of the room will excite all three of the axial room modes which will result in a very strong but uneven response. Placing the sub one fourth of the way out from the wall will have the subwoofer on a null which will keep it from exciting that room mode. By using two subwoofers, we can use phase cancellation to our advantage in order to achieve a flatter response. Placing the subwoofers in opposite corners will cause the subs to excite the same room mode, but one will be 180 degrees out of phase with the other so that the mode gets cancelled out. There are a few different placement options that take advantage of this effect. All of them make use of the second subwoofer to cancel out the resonance of one or more room modes. The same concept can be applied to a room using four or more subwoofers, but you can expect diminishing returns the more subwoofers you add. The combination of a great speaker placement and a comprehensive treatment strategy is the key to having a great sounding room. Good speaker placement can't eliminate all of the issues within a room, but it can help you get closer so you can focus treatment where you really need it. Speaker placement lends itself to experimentation, so feel free to take these guidelines and test out to see what works best for you. As always, you can visit us on our website where you can find tons of useful tools, articles, and videos as well as a free consultation form so you can get the best sound out of your space. Get free acoustic advice. Visit GIKacoustics.com for educational articles and tutorials.